What is up Cobra Kai fans, welcome back to the channel. While the season 5 teaser trailer for the Cobra Kai Live and Badass event was epic, a lot of us couldn't help but notice the absence of two main characters who played very pivotal roles in the previous season especially. You all know who it is I'm talking about, it was Hawk and Kreese. With both of them coming off arguably their best season yet, it raises some concerns to fans as to why they weren't shown in the teaser. But I'm here to tell you that the answer most likely is a lot less complicated than you think. Hawk's arc from season 1 up to season 4 has pretty much come full circle and has been concluded. We saw him start as a sympathetic character, turning into a badass, then into a bully, and finally choosing the path of redemption by coming back to the light to be with our heroes. And most recently, he ended season 4 off on the highest of notes by winning the All Valley after reaching one of his lowest points in the same season. Now just to clarify a little bit, when I said that his current arc from seasons 1 through 4 that he was on has been concluded, I'm definitely not saying that Hawk won't be in season 5. He's of course going to be in it, he's a main character and a series regular, but it is possible, not certain, that he may be in it just in a lesser capacity than what we're used to. Or to be honest, the most simple and probably most viable reason is that they could have just opted not to show him because it would reveal what his new journey will entail. And to be honest, after all, this isn't the first time that we've seen Hawk being pretty absent from trailers. Because in prior seasons that he ended up playing a key role in, it, like in season 4, if they actually showed him in the trailer and what he was actually going to be doing, it would have just been spoiled. And to be completely honest, the same thing could be said for Dimitri as well. He started off as a sympathetic nerd who severely lacked confidence, he got bullied, and then turned to karate to defend himself against his best friend. Once Hawk and him reconciled, he just continued to grow as a character and a martial artist as the seasons went on and eventually made it to the semi-finals of his very first All-Valley Karate Tournament. And I mean, yes, they could continue to develop Dimitri to make him grow even more, but to be honest, I kind of want Dimitri to have a more prominent role in Season 5, especially after he didn't have much of an arc in Season 4 other than recruiting Hawk to Miyagi-Do. I've been seeing a lot of people lately saying that if they include Sean in Season 5, that perhaps he could rival Hawk. I certainly think that would make for an interesting matchup, but I'm just not sure how that would play out on screen, you know, with all the specific details about how they would meet, how their rivalry starts, and all that. But at the same time, with these genius writers at the helm, anything is possible, and I'm down for whatever they decide to do. As far as Kreese goes, though, that is one I'm certainly surprised that he wasn't shown at all in the trailer. I thought we were at least gonna see a shot of him in his prison jumpsuit, or getting in a fight in prison, or something along the lines of that. But I think it's pretty clear that that's the storyline they really want want to save for the actual season. But an important point I do want to bring up and discuss with all of you is that with Kreese now in prison and Martin Cove who was a large part of filming for Dancing with the Stars during season 5's production, that really doesn't leave a big window for him to film the next season. He obviously was on set for filming some of it, but I'm just saying he was away in like California for filming Dancing with the Stars. So don't be surprised if Kreese doesn't appear a lot in the 5th season. But the scenes he does actually appear in you know it's gonna pack a hell of a punch, quite literally. To cap this video off, I I just want to also mention that just because these two weren't shown in one trailer, it doesn't mean that they're gone from the show or won't play a significant part in it. The full, complete, official trailer is still yet to come out, and that'll be coming about roughly a month before Season 5's release on September 9th. So I'd be willing to bet that we're at least going to catch a glimpse of Hawk and Kreese in the next trailer or so. And who knows, Kreese and Hawk could show up in the next trailer, and then Chosen and Sam may not. It's not really necessary for them to include everyone in each teaser all the time. At the end of the day, it would just reveal way too much because come on we don't want to know everything do we but with all that being said that's going to do it for today's video guys be sure to let me know down below in the comments section why do you think hawk and crease weren't in the cobra kai season 5 trailer that was released at the cobra kai live and badass event you know what to do next if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and make sure you subscribe to strike first media if you want to stay updated on all cobra kai and karate kid content i got plenty more season 5 videos coming that you're not gonna want to miss until next time good work today but I want better than good tomorrow.